Hello War Thunder pilots, today I'm going to speak to you all about our new 1.31 update. It brings some new features, new planes, maps and interface changes. Ok, let's start on our new feature, the clan system. Players can now be united in squadrons for better in-game cooperation. Creating a squadron is easy, you give it a name, a clan tag, a motto and a description. You'll also be able to view single statistics for each squadron member. The system will be more developed in the future, so keep with it. We have two new maps for arcade battles in this update. The first one is called Top of the World. It's inspired by the harsh snow landscape of the Arctic. Its pillboxes, armoured columns and ships are a feast for ground attack pilots. Our second map is Cliff Coast, inspired by Ireland. Its impending sharp cliffs are a great place to shake off your enemy from pursuit. That means dangerous manoeuvres, so be careful. The 1.31 update brings new planes. First we have the MiG-3, with its high speed and decent weaponry, a great plane for high altitude and high speed fights. The LAG-366, the best characteristics of the LAG series. Curtis P-36, which now has two modifications. One stands for better weaponry, the other offers increased maneuverability. We have for you the first jet fighter of the Soviet Air Force, the Yak-15, with two modifications, bringing one and two 23mm cannons. Two premium planes for the USA, the Interceptor XP-50 with impressive two 20mm cannons and the XP-55 Ascender, a very impressive looking plane. Japan gets two engine fighters, this is the Ki-45 in four modifications. All of them come with different weaponry, from the 20mm cannon, two MGs with 12 and 7mm rounds, two cannons with 20 and 37mm ammo loadouts of 15 shells. The update will also bring first tier premium planes for each nation. These planes have not only advantages of a premium aircraft, but each one of them has a unique historical background. The USSR has the I-153 M62, flown by Soviet ace Sergei Zhukovsky, with its unofficial name Shika. Sergei has 13 confirmed personal kills. USA has the Brewster F2A Buffalo. The famous American ace John Smith touched through the aircraft, and he had 6 kills to his name. The Fiat CR42 Falco with side number red 6 stands for Germany, painted black and was flown by Luciano McCollin. He had previously taken part in the civil war in Spain and had at least 5 confirmed kills to his name. This aircraft was flown by Matsu Hakari, a Japanese ace. This will be a nice addition to the Japanese tree, flying his A5M4 with side number W102. He destroyed 13 enemy aircraft. And finally, Britain will get the Gladiator Mark II, flown by famous ace Robert Stanford Tuck, who during 1942 gathered 29 personal kills. The interface has been redesigned, the statistics screen after the end of the battle is changed also, the debriefing window interface and the decal interface is now easier to use and has more options. That's it for this update. Find the full list of changes on War Thunder's official forums, join us on Facebook and follow War Thunder on Twitter. See you soon in the War Thunder skies.